right, yeah, no, no, that is really frustrating, yeah. Right, well, why don't you just get them then? Okay, did you? What? Yes, of course, I'm listening. Flowers for Tracy Metcalf. Oh, I'll take those. Uh, customer, I've got to go. Sorry, bye. Oh, David's freaking out at the cash and carry because he can't find the right gravy granules or something. To be honest, I wasn't even listening. <laughs> did he just say they were for me? Yep. Don't tell me David forgot Valentine's Day. Oh. No, he gave me a voucher for five free massages from himself. And he's terrible at massages, so... <laughs> Did you and Charity get up so much? Oh, Charity's gone away, apparently. I mean, didn't bother to tell me or anything, but there you go. <gasps> Thinking of you. OK, that's a bit weird. Yeah. There's no way David would send me them. It's not like something he'd send to a grieving widow. True. Well, David didn't send them. Who did? Exactly a breakfast of champions, is it? Are you all right, you? You've been proper quiet this morning. No, it's not a crime, is it? Liv, everything all right? It's just after you yeah, ran. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Um, I've changed my mind. I'll see you later. Go on, let me guess. Boy troubles. I've not got a clue. You any idea? Are you feeling better today? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll live. <clears throat> it should be fine. I mean, what it's like to be 16. Yeah, almost 16. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster. One moment you're broken hearted, the next you've moved on and you're in love with someone else. <laughs> other way, other way. Sorry? Oh, just when you think you've seen everything. I'm gonna get straight off to the hospital once I'm done with this. Lisa's gonna have Isaac for a couple of hours. Your dad says you went to see him yesterday. Oh, poor Ross. No one, but no one deserves what happened to him. <sighs> His lordship awakes. I was supposed to 10 minute now, it's better than none at all. I don't know if you can take much more of this. I wish I'd never seen him. Debbie, listen. No, this is not going to be all right. Nothing is going to undo what I have done to him. Got to keep it together, okay? This isn't down to you. This is that idiot Simon's fault. Yeah. Yeah, and it's still out there. And what if he does something like this again? What if he hurts one of us? Because as far as he's concerned, I still owe him money. And how long before the police find out that it's him and the trail leads back to me? He's threatening to drop me in. He's got voicemail on his phone. You've got to calm down, okay? Simon is a loose end. But trust me, look at me. I will sort this right for all our sakes, okay? Right, I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna get going. Tell Ross I'll see him later. Uh, Debbie said she's uh, gonna make a cup of tea for both of you, didn't you? Oh, thank you. Right, see you. Bye. See you, mister. Mm. Uh, I was thinking, why don't you come with me to the hospital? Oh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Well, it's your choice, but yesterday was the first time you've seen him since it happened. Yeah. Yeah, it was, and I, I just went to pieces. Exactly. What do you think will go through his head when you don't turn up again today? Come on. Come on. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was the worst Australian accent I've ever heard. I should hope not, Cobber. <laughs> <laughs> But I have to say, you do look fine in a hat. Ah. Even that one. I never quite understood about the corks, so, uh, except it to remind you that you've opened a bottle of grog. You know, I always fancied I was myself. Got to be honest, though, the long flight puts me off a bit. Oh, but it's worth it. Trust me. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'll be making tracks myself tomorrow. So soon? I wish it wasn't so soon, too, but... My ticket's booked. No changing it now. Oh, well, uh, all good things that they say. Uh, well, uh, uh, oh, when you see Betty, please give her a big kiss from me. Talk of the devil. Betty, good day to you too. All you're gonna do is peck my head, then you can do one. Maybe 
you two can tell him. Tell him what? Tell me how good I'm looking. Oh, no need to say anything, guys. I'll hold off with the selfie, shall I? You know, I think there's so much that you can do nowadays. I think you'd be surprised. Oh, great. Now you're at it, too. A couple of weeks from now and I'll probably be even more good-looking. Right? Right? The psychologist came round. You know, just to say hello. Yeah, which she did. End of story. Game over. Job done. You heard it yourself, Pete. It's not compulsory. Well, so we can all see the, the pain that you're in, and I'm sorry. You'll never know how much, but you should get the help that they're offering to you. Hey, big day tomorrow, then. We just had a party when I turned 16. What'd you do? Well, I think that's a story for another time. Definitely a certificate 18, if you get my drift. Oh, go on, then. I can tell you, Diane, you know. I'll just nip to the loo, be right back. Tell you all about it. What are you doing? I have some work. I don't think it'd take this long. There's loads of it. <sighs> You're kidding, Gray. I haven't even started mine. All that stupid essay for English. Yeah, I did that the first day off. Sorry. You're such a geek. Did you know that? <laughs> Look, Liv, I want you to know what happened yesterday. Yeah. You don't understand. No, of course I do. Kissing you was, was just a mistake. You know, it, it wasn't... Let, let's just forget about it, all right? Of course. But these things happen. At least I can say I got a Valentine's Day kiss. <laughs> Look, I mean... You're gay. So what? I, I'm just glad that I know. I'm not gay, all right? Live. Blind me, where's the fire? Well, it certainly wasn't anything I said. I thought I might have seen you at the office. Well, I had some scraps to pick up. I've got your text, though, go on. Nice to be able to use the front door again. Well, um, everything OK? You tell me, I'm not the one who had to escape through the bathroom window. Yeah, uh, about that, you should probably know that Paddy saw me sneaking out. Right, well, don't worry about that. Go on. Look, Aaron, what happened yesterday, it clearly proves that there's still something between us. You mean what almost happened? We both know that things might have been different had Alex not turned up when he did. Are you asking me or telling me? OK, um, well, I just... I thought it might be, uh Might be better I keep my distance from now on. That's what you think? You and Alex. He's right for you. I'll see you later. Hiya. Hello again. Oh, I'm sorry, I can come back. That's all right, we'll leave you to it. The nurse said you'd ask to speak to me. Yeah, just to shut them up, though. So I thought that we could have a little chat. I mean, nothing to worry about. Good, because I'm not much of a worrier. Things are never as bad as they look, are they? Right, well, I'll come and see you again tomorrow, OK? Thank you. Um, do you mind if Debbie stays? No, it's absolutely fine. I mean, whatever works for you. I'll wait outside. Do you want me to tell you that it's not what it looked like? 
I don't want anything. I want some milk in there, like. I ain't got any of putting extra sugar in, though. What? Nothing happened, you know. With the tea? Oh, with, with Robert, sorry. And I know what you're going to say. And with Alex and with Alex. Alex. I bet he's got loads of milk, hasn't he? Just saying. So go on, then. This is the part where you tell me that he's hurt me before, he'll hurt me again. I think, um... Oh, that's horrible. I'm not drinking that. Sorry. Nothing happened anyway, so... Good. I'm glad that's cleared up. I just want you to be happy. Yeah. I keep hearing that a lot lately. But the track record... suggests that's probably not going to be with Robert. Whereas it will with Alex. It's not like we've even given him much of a chance, is it? Aaron, only you know what or who it is that you really want to be with. I think you need to decide, for everyone's sake. Where are you hiding from? Not from anyone. Good, because I was beginning to think it was me. I'd be daft. Do you want to talk about it? I mean, whatever it is, I'm a good listener. I'm good. Thanks, though. All right, well... I don't know whether now's exactly the right time, but... It's my birthday tomorrow. I know. Just open it. I was going to give it you yesterday on our date, but I didn't really get the chance. What? Our Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh... It's all right, you don't have to explain. I just wanted you to have it, that's all. Right, I... Except I'm not the one that... Look, I, try, I tried to set you up with Gabby, and, and she's the one that you're supposed to be going on a date with, not me. This is awkward. No, no, it's fine, honestly. I, I make a fool of myself all the time. <laughs> um, no one really needs to know about this, all right? Especially Gary. I'm sorry. No worries. Hey, have you got to the bottom of those flowers yet? Uh, not exactly, no. Right, what is the name of that old chap? You know the one, he comes in from Robblesfield. You're always helping him with his shopping, you help him get back on the bus. Yeah, it's definitely not him. Hey, you don't know that. Go on, you always saying he's got a bit of a glint in the eye when it comes to you. He also died about three weeks ago. Oh. Anyway, I, I think it was Phil who sent them. What funeral flowers, creepy note? Is he the only one who fits the bill? Handyman Phil? Why would he? I've told you before. It looks at me weird. Really? This again? I honestly don't know what you've got against the poor chap. I thought you were past all this. Look, there's something not right about him. I'm telling you now. Look, are you sure they're not from David? Well, you don't believe me? Look, talk to David. That's all I'm saying. And if you're right and they are from Phil, well, I think your husband needs to know. Sorry, I... No, I'm meant to be keeping my distance. Uh, actually, I was just on my way up to the office to see you. Well, look, if this is about Paddy, you know, I can have a word with him if you like. I can tell him it's not what it looked like. Except it was, wasn't it, Robert? Look, I've been lying to myself for too long. OK. Alex... Alex is great, he is. Why am I sensing a butt? I thought you were working. I was. I had to leave. Except I couldn't face going home. I should have called him. I'm sorry. Has something happened? Look, I'm sorry. You, you don't need this. No, don't be daft. Look, come on, we'll, um, we'll go back to mine. Come <laughs> on. 
Well, I had one to track down. Tell me I had a little chat. Hey! Hey! Don't even think about it! Right. You do the driving. I'll stick on the change, yeah? Betty means what she said. A guest room is ready and waiting. What was that she said about an envelope? I didn't see any envelope amongst the gifts. Maybe we should take another look. It's here. It's here. Open it. It's a plane ticket. I can't read the small print. It's an open return to Australia. First class. Leaving tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I've really enjoyed getting to know you, Sandy. It seems too soon to say goodbye. And even more importantly, Betty misses her best friend. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. I'd done some blood tests for a patient and I was waiting to get the results back and someone got rushed into any &E with a serious head trauma and it was it was all hands on deck and Anyway, I... I forgot about the bloods. That's understandable. And when I finally remembered to check the results, they were... They weren't good, and... By then, it was... It was too late. Too late, as in... You died. <sighs> Alex, that's awful. I'm so sorry. And now I've been suspended while the hospital investigates, which is a standard practice for someone like this, but even so, it's... You were just doing your job. That patient didn't die because of anything you did. We don't know that. Not for sure, anyway. But, uh, no, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to go. I don't think I'm going to be very good company tonight. If that's what you want. What am I even saying? You stay in here. You shouldn't be on your own after something like this. Of course, my job isn't to suddenly make everything better. I wish that it were. Right. Well, this is someone who does have that job. I'm not being funny, though. Is he always like this? Pretty much. Must be fun to live with. No, we don't. No, we're not together. As it goes, I'm very much single. So, you know, spread the word. Us. But in terms of support, you have your family and friends around you. Yeah. Actually, no. Pretty much my whole family are dead. So, you know, no. But on the plus side, I still have Pete. You've met him. He's not the brightest, but he's still breathing. So it puts him ahead of the curve. Humour can be a real help in an adverse situation, but it can also be used to mask real feelings, to push them down inside, which is never good. <laughs> I have a son too. What was his? <laughs> I miss him. He's in Lanzarote with his mum, which is probably for the best. How old is he? He's two and a half. I'm glad he's not here. I don't want him to see me like this. <laughs> I understand why you'd feel like that. <sighs> At least not until he sees Phantom of the Opera anyway. <laughs> and what about you? Have you had a chance to have a look yet? You know you have options, the gauze or the gel. And the gel might feel a bit more comfortable. I'm pretty attached to this, though. Well, it's definitely attached to me. 
It's okay to allow yourself to feel anger for what's happened to you. It's to be expected. It's normal. Is it? Because I want them to suffer. I want them to feel the pain that I have felt every second since they did this to me. Right, whatever you're gonna do, right, listen to me. I can get you money. Whatever you want. Kane, please. What does it they say? An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. in Adele in half an hour.